Israel destroyed three remaining Russian S-300 air defense systems in Iran during airstrikes on military targets in Iran last Saturday, the Wall Street Journal reported, citing American and Israeli officials. The systems, a key component of Iran's air defense system, were able to intercept, according to the newspaper, at best a few of the hundreds of missiles fired at targets in Iran during the air attack, in which 100 Israeli warplanes took part. Three of the four systems supplied by Russia to Iran were destroyed during the attack. The fourth had been destroyed earlier. According to the U.S. Institute for the Study of War, one of the S-300 systems was located near the Tehran airport, while the other two were covering energy infrastructure facilities, an oil port, an oil refinery and a natural gas field. The S-300 air defense missile systems, which were in service with Iran, are a modernized version of this system, which entered service with the Soviet Army in the late 1970s, in the late 1990s. According to analysts, the loss of the S-300 systems leaves many of Iran's critical facilities defenseless against missile attacks. It has no opportunity to obtain more modern S-400 air defense systems from Russia, since it is using all of its available reserves to conduct combat operations in Ukraine. As the Wall Street Journal points out, this episode, coupled with the destruction of several Russian S-300 systems by the Ukrainian army during the fighting in Ukraine and successful Ukrainian strikes against more modern Russian S-400 air defense systems, is causing serious damage to the reputation of the Russian defense industry. It cites analysts who say that traditional clients of the Russian military-industrial complex will most likely start looking for alternative arms suppliers, which could benefit South Korean, Israeli, American and Chinese arms manufacturers. Successive Israeli airstrikes have pummeled the southern port city of Tyre in Lebanon following an evacuation warning from the Israeli military for parts of the city, Lebanon's state-run national news agency reported. Associated press footage showed thick plumes of smoke rising against the Mediterranean skyline. Local media also showed images of fires and widespread destruction to residential buildings. No casualties have been reported immediately. Following an Israeli evacuation warning, Lebanese civil defense teams patrolled the city with loudspeakers, urging residents to leave the area immediately. The Israeli military on Monday released a video purporting to show soldiers inside a hospital in Gaza, with weapons seen on the ground. The AP cannot verify the content, date, locations or conditions under which the video was shot. The Israeli army said it had conducted a precise operation against a Hamas stronghold embedded inside the Kamal Adwan hospital, in the Gaza Strip, while preventing the harm of civilians. In a press release, the military said it apprehended approximately 100 terrorists from the compound, including terrorists who attempted to escape during the evacuation of civilians. Inside the hospital, they found weapons, terror funds, and intelligence documents. They said that, before beginning scans in the compound, the soldiers enabled civilians to leave the hospital and that 88 patients, caregivers, and staff were relocated from Kamal Adwan Hospital to active hospitals in the Gaza Strip. 
The war began when Hamas-led militants stormed into southern Israel on October 7, 2023. They killed around 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducted around 250. Some 100 hostages remain in Gaza, around a third of whom are thought to be dead. Israel's retaliatory offensive has killed more than 42,000 Palestinians, according to Gaza's health ministry. It does not distinguish between civilians and combatants but says more than half of those killed were women and children. Israel says it has killed over 17,000 militants, without providing evidence. The offensive has devastated much of Gaza and displaced around 90% of its population of 2.3 million, often multiple times. After Israel's missile strike on Iran on the night of October the 26th, the media is wondering whether it was a preview or whether the confrontation between Tehran and Jerusalem will now enter a cold phase, as the Arabic branch of the British media holding Sky News writes, citing its sources, Iran received information about the targets of the Israeli planes from Russia several hours before the strike. It is worth noting that US President Joe Biden personally asked Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu a few days ago not to attack Iranian nuclear and oil facilities to which the head of the Jewish state responded with consent. And so it happened. Israeli aircraft attacked locations of units of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard, which, according to Tehran, killed two Iranian soldiers. Journalists note the fact that numerous casualties among them were avoided thanks to information received in advance from Moscow about possible Israeli targets. After the Jewish state's retaliatory strike, a representative of the Iranian authorities conveyed a message to Netanyahu and Biden through Arab intermediaries that Tehran would not respond to the latest attack on its territory. How the Russian Federation received detailed information about Israel's planned attack on Iran is not reported. It should be noted that the Jewish state continues its ground operations in Lebanon against Hezbollah and in Gaza against Hamas, both Iranian satellites. The US, in turn, recently attacked Yemen's Houthis, who were also reportedly given the data for the tanker strikes by Moscow. Recall Houthi rebels in Yemen are receiving intelligence from Russia, assisting the Iran-backed terrorist group in targeting commercial shipping in the Red Sea, the Wall Street Journal reported. The report, which cited a person familiar with the matter and two European defense officials, said that the Houthis have used Russian satellite data to expand their targeting of commercial vessels. Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps personnel, embedded with the Houthis, reportedly pass Russia's data on to the terrorist organization, which has been attacking commerce in the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden, and the Bab el-Mandeb Strait in support of Hamas in Gaza since late last year. The US government, Russia, and the Houthis have not responded to the report. Iran and Russia have strengthened their military alliance since Russia invaded Ukraine in 2022, with Iran providing missiles, drones, and other munitions to President Vladimir Putin's regime. The alliance has also entangled Russia with Iran's terrorist proxies, including the Houthis. CNN reported that Russia sent military advisors, citing sources who said that U.S. officials watched as large Russian ships made an unusual stop in the southern Red Sea, where the Russian personnel disembarked, were picked up by the Houthis in a boat, and ferried to Yemen.